Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got uh, Armor Hobbies 172nd scale KI84 Hi8 or Hey8, whichever way you say it. Been waiting to see this kit for a little while. Was really surprised they were going to do it because I thought they would just go down. You know, we've seen the Hurricanes, which are absolutely beautiful kits. And I still maintain they're the best one in one ten second, uh, and I've built one as well, uh, and they are absolutely gorgeous. And then I thought they were going to sort of go down that road. So when they came along with this particular one, doing a Japanese fighter. Actually, I was a little bit, why? Why would they go around that way? Uh, but again, obviously, they're trying to cover all the bases right the way through. So it should be interesting to see how this one looks. So anyway, as you can see, we have beautiful box art, as always, uh, from them. Quick run round on the kit. There isn't much to see on here. Uh, your kit number for this one is uh, 70051. And again, we've got a bit on there. But we do get all the markings and the information on the back as well. All right, so we've got some really nice bits down in there and lovely options. So obviously with the different tail markings and with the banding without, and obviously we've got the uh, metal one over here, as well as in the green as well. So some very nice options. So in the box, we are greeted by one bag, which has got it all in. And then in here, I can unzippy zippy. Okay, so this one here is the expert set. So I do believe it does come with the mask set with it. And um, we get a little bit of photo etch as well, which is what that is. We've got our clear parts and we've got our instructions. And then we've got two sprues down in here. So we've got obviously the main aircraft itself. Wow, look at the detail. I won't spoil it. Right, okay. So in the old instructions, we find the decals as well, so that's nice. And that's stuck somewhat down on there. So we've got a little walkway one as well. So we'll look at those in a moment. So instructions, obviously a little bit of blurb. We've got our color call outs on the front and then straight over into it, you can see loads of detail going down in here. So working on the cockpit, we've got obviously all the cockpit, various bits and pieces going down in there. We've got the instrument panel being fitted, the sidewall details, things like that, the sights, the throttles and all the parts being added onto it. Then we've got the engine itself and that's what this little bit of photo etch in here is the wiring. Uh, harness if you like for the rear so you can see it on the front uh, and you can see all of that being plumbed in will give you a beautiful looking engine and being a nice big sort of radial like that you'll be able to see that through the front as well then it's a case of bringing it all together so you're going to be fitting that engine cockpit in and tail wheel system goes in there as well wing section is pretty much straightforward just laminating the two together uh, we've got the tails being fitted down onto this one we've got the radiator being cooler being put on and then we've got the top a uh, bit of the cowling being fitted with the gun ports in there, just like that. Then again, you've got photo etch as well going down into these, and then depending on which version you're doing, is the different cooler going in there on the bottom. And then we've actually got the canopy system. So it looks like you've got a couple of options down in there with the canopy being fitted like that. So you can fit it in one or in two. All right, so that's those all being fitted down. Gear going onto there, pretty much standard. You've got your doors. You've got the sway braces being fitted for the bombs uh, onto the actual uh, outside wing pylons. Uh, and then obviously those being fitted down as well. Then obviously we've got, it looks like, uh, I don't know if that's just the one type of flaps or two. Uh, so you can fit it either with, uh, obviously closed or open with the cow flap system on that one. Uh, and then obviously we've got the bomb. So you've got your fuel tank, or you've got a 100 kilo bomb or a 250 kilo bomb being fitted, and then your options just down in there. Then obviously we've got these ones for your call outs, as you can see, and I won't put your names, uh, but you can see some really nice different options if you wanted to go with a metal finish uh, over with just the normal green. And then obviously down on the underside, really nice colorful markings in there as well with all of those and the old clickable information for some more references. And the beautiful one is the one on the back which I did see on the box oh it is on the box uh, as well in the little striping all right so that's very nice indeed so decor wise we are greeted by we've got one sheet peel these off these are very nice so you can see these really nice good solid color right the way through actually they're really very very nice Carry fill may be a little bit thick, shall we say, but down in here, for instance, it's quite complex how it goes, but they have made the attempt to undercut them. If I can get it to catch it in the light, I'm going to some light in here today. There it is. Hey, you can see on the carrier film how it's not just solid all the way through. There's, it's undercut. So that should help out with silvering. So that's very nice indeed. And we do get these little ones as well to go on. So we'll just cover these up and keep these nice and safe and pop those on. All right, then we get, as I said before, just down this little baggie, 
we've got the little mask set get it out. and this little bit of photo etch. So the mask set is die cut. I don't, hopefully you can see that. So it's for the wheels. Catch it in the light there. So you've got the actual glass work and the wheels. So again, and it's all die cut, which again, it's small, it's simple, but it just saves a lot of work. It's very nice. And then again, we've got this beautiful little bit of photo etch with that all important wiring harness down on there. And obviously we've got the grills and we've got some lap belts down in there as well for the radiator. So that's really very nice indeed. And again, if we just pop this on the back side, keep it nice and safe. Close the little baggie up. And again, we might as well look at it seeing it's right here. Here's the clear parts. And again, some very, very nice clear parts. And again, after working on the Hurricane, they are great. They're very nice, very, very clear. So we've got the gun sight down in there and say three parts, depending if you're going to be having it open or closed. There's different options down in there to help you out with that during the actual build. So that's nice. And then get that in. we've got the kit itself. So I'll keep you in suspense a little bit longer. So uh, there we go. We've got the bombs and we've got the tailplanes just down in there. So very nice indeed. And then we have the gorgeous kit itself. And again, you can't really see it until you get nice and close, but hopefully you can see that gorgeous detail running right the way through the top. And it's something now I think, you know, definitely I'd hate to put pressure on them, but we sort of expect gorgeously refined, very sharp details with our Armour Hobbies now on their 72nd scale kits. And again, that's those different tops down in there but the engine detail looks really nice the actual fuselage you can probably see very nice indeed but the gorgeous thing about it look at the riveting on the underside of the wings the various parts that's all very nice and again so we've got the engines we've got the bits of the cockpit we've got the front of the cowling there all the various bits the prop looks nice very nice indeed and even on the blind side we've got a little bit of detail for the cockpit floor and again, this funny way that they do this ejector pin system, but it works, works absolutely fantastic. So there's like an ejector pin in there and it has these bits around it. It's a bit odd, but as I say, it's a good way of getting them out. And again, we've got a little bit of detail in the wheel wells. On the blind side looks really very, very nice indeed. So hopefully you can just catch that somewhat in the light, how nice that is. Again, it's one of those kits where when they were going to release it, I was like, why? Why do that? Now I've seen it. You're like, I tell you what, that's a really very, very nice kit. And we can only hope that uh, Armour Hobbies will continue along this and we'll get different versions of, uh, and obviously other models come along in 70 second scale. To be honest, we're all still waiting and hopefully it will be this year for the bigger one, for the 48 scale Hurricane to come along, which I am really excited about seeing how that one stacks up. Because if it's anything even on par with their 70 second scale stuff, it will be beautifully detailed and totally in scale. Scale, so it should be one to look out for as well. But in the meantime, we do have their gorgeous 72nd KI-84 Hi-8.